My name is Professor Radha Krishnan. I am actually heading the Department of Congenital Heart Disease and Adult Congenital Heart Diseases at the Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, Faridabad. As far as the trends are concerned, the incidence and prevalence of congenital heart disease has always been very constant for centuries. And the approximate incidence that is given is about 8 to 10 per thousand babies who are born will have a varied forms of congenital heart disease from very critical to heart disease which are never picked up. What is happening now is that we are able to pick up these diseases much more easily because of the availability of modern technology. One of them is fetal eco. And then of course, the most important impact that has occurred is the availability of the echocardiography, which is now so commonly available all over the country. So it is able to diagnose these conditions much more early and therefore pick up the critical forms of heart disease and we are able to treat them. The challenges that we face in this country is again coming back to the so-called trend is to diagnose them early in the natural history of the disease. It's okay in a big city like Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai or now for example Faridabad, we are able to diagnose them much earlier but you have to imagine children being born in the villages or small cities. Many of them are actually not diagnosed. And when it is diagnosed, they reach tertiary centers in a very critical state. And in many of them, we are not able to save these babies. So this is one of the biggest challenges that we face. We do hold camps all over the city, all over the country. Uh, from various hospitals and try to diagnose these conditions as early as possible, educate the pediatricians on what is called the warning signs of congenital heart disease, how to diagnose them, how to pick them up early. But these are some of the challenges we are still going through and it's uh, not yet done. For example, in the West, 95 to 97% of patients or children with congenital heart disease are diagnosed during fetal life. In our country, the figure is abysmal. It is not even 1% or 2% are actually diagnosed during fetal life. And therefore, it is only after the baby is born, even during after the baby is born, they go home and then they return back sometimes in a collapsed state when we have to diagnose these problems. Fetal eco is a technology which has been present for many decades now. Unfortunately, in our country, I think it is just the beginning. Now, many of these tertiary care centers have what is known as the fetal eco departments which are evolving and which are now reached a very good stage. The problem is that as a fetal cardiologist, we don't see these babies unless they are referred by the gynecologist or by person who does the fetal ultrasound. The radiologist who does the fetal ultrasound has to suspect some anomaly in the heart, only then they are referred to us. We don't do fetal eco as a routine in all pregnancy because that is not cost effective. It has to be suspected by the fetal ultrasonologist and then referred to us. And that is the trend all over the world. I spoke about the diagnosis. The availability of echocardiography has completely revolutionized the diagnosis of congenital heart disease. As far as treatment is concerned, of course, Surgery for congenital heart disease has reached its peak now, even in our country. There are so many centers in this country which are able to perform very complex heart surgeries in children right from the newborn period to children, to adolescents and to adults. The second major advancement that has occurred is in treating many of these heart diseases 
without them undergoing surgical therapy. We have these balloon therapies. We are able to close many of these holes in the heart without the patient undergoing surgery by special devices that are available. The advantages of doing it without surgery is that the majority of them are discharged without a scar in the body and they are discharged within a day or two of the procedures. We are now able to replace valves without patient undergoing surgery. So these are some of the technological advancements which have occurred and it is all available in our country.